Today, we have gathered at the watershed moment. After a decade of focusing on stabilizing Afghanistan, we will take a strategic step forward to the transformation decade for a fully functioning, sustainable Afghanistan. As the fruit of 13 years of joint efforts, we have already seen rays of hopes for Afghanistan's future. A new government successfully inaugurated through a peaceful and democratic transfer of power, the first ever, and the aspirations of the people who turned out in high numbers to vote, defying the threat of terrorism to support democracy and national unity. Korea has been seeking to be the prime water for realizing Afghanistan's potential by combining our unique development experience with the needs and demands of the Afghan people. To this end, Korea has been making active contributions, providing 200 million US dollars bilaterally and 300 million US dollars multilaterally over the past five years. We have prioritized medicine and health, education, governance, rural development, and gender equality. In particular, the Korean Provincial Recon Reconstruction Team, PRT, in Parwan, active from July 2010 to June 2014, has been valued as a role model for development projects in Afghanistan. Still, Afghanistan faces numerous challenges. Building the capacity of the army and police, sustaining economic growth, enhancing governance, and promoting human rights, especially for women and children, are a few of them. The suicide attacks last week remind us that we still have a long way to go, and we need to work more closely together. In this regard, Korea will honor our commitments by disbursing 100 million US dollars up to 2015 within the Tokyo Mutual Accountability Framework and 100 million US dollars through a separate multilateral basket for the Afghan National Security Forces. Furthermore, we will consider further bilateral assistance for areas where we can make a difference. Kabul was once called the Paris of Central Asia. I look forward to seeing Kabul reborn as a symbol of life and prosperity through our joint efforts. In closing, I appreciate the UK government's hosting this conference and extend my deepest condolences to the victims of last week's terrorist attack and their families. Thank you very much.